and they are here to play hot potato. And here to toss the hot potato, our host, Bill Cullen. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Danny. How to be there. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, welcome to Hot Potato. We're happy to have... We're going to have our potato give up smoking. Uh, well, this, this is a fine potato and a fine show, and we're awfully happy to have you with us. Hot Potato! And here to toss the hot potato, our host, Bill Cullen! Hey, yes, thank you all. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our London Fog. This is Hot Potato. So if we're all set, let's meet our first two teams. What, what a pleasure this shot is. Here I am, the three most beautiful girls in the world, three of the handsomest fellas, and me, your old matinee idol. <laughs> Lucky. What an, I haven't had a reception like that since they closed Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm Sharon Walensky. I'm Nancy Seattle. I'm Lisa Jackson. And we're we're waitresses. Hello, Sharon. Hi, Bill. You know, I have a question. I, I guess maybe with the Internal Revenue and everything, who might or might not be watching, are the tips better or worse lately? Well, after, after Christmas, they're worse. Nobody has any money. Yeah. But before Christmas, it's pretty good. Just up until that time. Before uh, that, sometimes people are not... I shouldn't weeks. say anything. That's what I say. So, no, no, I want to hear... Well, sometimes what? people are nice and pay in cash. They don't pay on their credit cards, and then uh -huh. the government doesn't know what you're making on your credit cards. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? It's so awful. You're even going to know. Hey, now you, you, yes, the whole thing, right yes. The whole, they have people who never miss this show. I know. It's so they, they have agents no, just sitting around sure. taking... What, what is your last name, Sharon? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Now, and, uh, far be it from me, Sharon, to press the point. <laughs> you ready to play? Yes, I am. Okay. We were only kidding, by the way, if anyone is watching who shouldn't be watching. <laughs> uh, are you married? I'm divorced. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I have a wonderful child as a result. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. How about you, Kat? I don't have time. I'm single. You're single? <laughs> Always been single? Yeah. And how about you, Sheila? I'm single, but I have the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then that subject, these gentlemen are single and they don't have the time. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Let me go to our waitresses here. Sharon, yes. when you meet a man... What do you look at? His, Tell me. His chest. <laughs> his chest? Well, do you want a sunken in chest? No, I don't want to. No, I don't want a sunken in chest. I'm going to get hated out of No, this. you're not. So far, so far, you've alienated no, 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 the don't, IRS. No, no, don't say Nancy, uh, what do you look at when you look at a man for the first time? The expression in his eyes. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. <laughs> huh? Anything? How about me? Well. Oh, well, all right. Lisa, what do you look at first time you meet a man? What do I look at? I don't know. I just look at him myself. Well, now look at me. Close your eyes. Okay. Look at me. What's the first thing you notice about me? Your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's good to know after all these years, I'm, as, I'm every bit as sexy as I ever was. They have won a round, ladies and gentlemen, our softball managers. And Robbie, tell us about your game. Hi, well, we, recently we uh, play softballs. We each have daughters. Jenny has a daughter, Lori, that's third base. Mimi's daughter is uh, 13 as a pitcher. Uh -huh. And I have a daughter that's 14 as a catcher. That's good. I have a son who's never been able to get to first base. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't on this team. <laughs> Let us welcome these lovely ladies and say hello to our captain of the bus driver team. It is Marie. Marie, tell us something about your group here. Well, we are operators for... <laughs> we're operators and we drive in the city of los angeles uh-huh i bet i bet when you're right behind the wheel of that bus you are calm and cool as a cucumber aren't yes. you but this made you a little oh, nervous this, this, this really did it this listen <laughs> if i had to drive a bus i would have done what you just did there you married lady oh no you're on not. and off <laughs> 
engaged. I, 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 would I would pursue that further, but this is where I get off. I mean, this, <laughs> this is my stop right here. Off the bus, everybody out of the bus. Sharon, are you happy? You now have $3,500? Oh, I'm very happy. Are you married? No. Do you not? I have a very handsome stud at home, though. <laughs> <laughs> Living in sin? No, no. Just dating. All I said was a simple question, like, are you married? It's going at home. Yeah. Just yeah, if you just date them. What? Never mind. I don't... Our, our dentists uh, have all done something. Donna, your husband, uh, what does he do? He's a dentist. And Bill, your wife? A dentist. And Chris, your husband? A dentist. <laughs> I'll be darned. I, I always thought you left your troubles at the office. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna... Larry, what's your favorite trick? Oh, the one where the magician uh, produces a castle full of cards. Oh, I'm very happy I asked that. That's pretty good. It's not easy. Let me put this down here. Okay. <laughs> then the moving men will be here to get it in a while, Larry. Now, let's see if I have my same luck. James, what's your favorite trick? I like to drink. Look at that. That class is... All right, all right, Bernie. I, I now have to ask Bernie, what is your favorite trick? Oh, anything. I just I just like magic. It's, uh, any type. Got an, oh, look at that. It's a real... <laughs> Bird flies beautifully. We're teaching him how to fly. That is now the dove of war. He's out of our... <laughs> Let us say hello to our 411 operators. By 411, we're talking about information operators. Right. Is that all right? Judy, tell us a little bit about your team. Well, we're all, we've been 411 operators for uh -huh. quite a while. I've been five years. Chris, Kathy has been 19? 19. 19 years. And how about you, Chris? Chris a little over four. Okay, I'd ask you what your favorite trick is, but that is none of my concern. No. <laughs> we do that only with the magicians who, who had this. Okay, welcome back to Hot Potato. Congratulations to John and to Steve and to Dennis, our clowns. Well done, fellas. Thank you. Uh, Dennis even let me borrow his hammer. May I, may I hit you on the hand? <laughs> oh, sure. It might hurt. No, it won't. Huh? I don't think so. You sure? Right. No, it won't hurt at all. We I do it all the time. Here, you hit yourself on okay. the hand. Okay. <laughs> 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 anyway, you have $6,000. Yes, sir. Yes, we do. Is, is it, there's three kinds. There's a drone. He don't do nothing. Well, he mates with the queen. Well, that's something. <laughs> yeah, I don't buy that. <laughs> there aren't too many people. There aren't, 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 aren't too many insect consorts about. Mm -hmm. And then you have workers. Yes, they're, they're, they're females. Yes, they are also female worker, uh, and, workers. And the queen. Mm -hmm. and she's, the, she's the queen of the whole bit. Yes. What's she do? She lays eggs in the hive. I do the same thing here. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Tim, number one, how about you? Are you married? Yes, I am. What do you want to tell us about your wife? Well, my wife's Danish, and uh, oh. we just had a new baby boy. I never heard anyone having an old baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it, we, it, we all say that, do we not? Your wife's Danish. Yes, she is. You told me the other day that if you win the big money, you're going to buy her a ticket to Denmark. Is that right? That's right. May I ask him if it's a round-trip ticket? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. It remains to be seen. <laughs> yeah. And uh, tip number two, uh, tell us, are you married? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. Uh, I'm not, but she's out there somewhere. She is? Look right into the camera, Tim. <laughs> look, look right in there. See there? Look right in there and, and say hello to her, even though you don't know who, who, you, who she is. Hello. Uh, we'll see you later. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or if you keep if you keep working like that, you're not going to get married. <laughs> I've seen better better techniques than that at the YMCA. Uh, <laughs> you have a girlfriend, Brett? Uh, not so I'll admit. No. Nothing you want to talk about. <laughs> no, huh? no. Bruce, you have a girlfriend? Not right now. No, I don't. You mean you don't want to admit, or you don't have? Uh, it? Kind of a touchy subject. I just broke up with my old girlfriend. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I heard some. <laughs> They're not nice out there, are they, Bruce? They aren't. I heard a little bit of applause. Maybe someone's willing to volunteer. Brett! <laughs> I was like, let me, let me handle you, Bruce. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do well for you. Brett, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I sure do. Tell us about it. Ah. <laughs> Will you stay out of this? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, about 5'7", uh, black mm -hmm. hair. Oh, yeah. Uh, size 5. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. A lot of fun to be with. A lot of fun to be with. Yeah. Man. Tell me more. Tell me more. <sighs> right now, she's a uh, long ways away in uh, a city called Modesto. She's in Modesto. Yeah. You're here, huh? Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It's, it's ugly. It's been uh, about four months now that she's been four up there. Four months. And it's getting grim. Ain't good. In Modesto without you. Yeah. Is she faithful? Um. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's dead. I'd say yes. 
<laughs> I'm sure you're right. I'm not trying. I'm just trying to ruin your day. That's all. <laughs> anyway, we have him worried. Right now, the network would like to show you something that will probably worry you. <laughs> Well, actually, Bill, all of us are recruiting. Anywhere we go, we try to recruit a few good men and women sure, for the Naval Reserve Program. And we have a new program that uh -huh. uh, I thought you might be interested in. What's that? It's the Sea and Air Mariner Program for uh, interested males and females between 17 and 34 years of age. They'd like to earn a few extra dollars on weekends with us. Between 17 and 34 years of age? Sure. And you thought I might be interested? Well, we thought you might. It's a challenging it's way to make a few <laughs> extra bucks when you're not here on hot potato. <laughs> anything, anything that has a limit of 34 years of age is indeed a challenge to me, Tom. <laughs> Let us welcome our preachers. Hello, Rick. Hi, Bill. Larry and John. Uh, Rick, uh, what made you become preacher? Well, Bill, I searched high and low, and it was the only job I could find where you only have to work one day a week. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> I never thought of that. John, I detected in the introduction an accent that is certainly not typically American in my estimation. English, is it not? That's correct. Well, what, what made you uh, leave England? Well, we were running out of sinners there, and I heard there were plenty here, so... <laughs> John, have you ever come to the right place? <laughs> right here. We, we wish you all the very... By the way, I want to straighten something out with you, Rick. There is one other job I can think of where you work one day a week, and that's doing exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> huh? One day a week? Yeah, and I don't have to watch my morals or anything. <laughs> No, we, we, every, it is a known fact that we tape, uh, we tape five shows at once. Hey, maybe you can talk to the bishop and tape five Sundays in a row, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sacrilegious, and he'll advise. Okay, if you're uh, all right. Father Francis, you are the father, Daniel and Jordan are brothers, yes. is that correct? Father Francis, uh, would you mind telling us an average routine, a daily routine for the Benedictine monks? Well, it's a little bit long. We have five different times of prayer a day. Mm -hmm. It starts out, we have to be up in the morning by 6 for our first prayers in the chapel. I could do that. Then we have meditation uh, for a half an hour, and then another set of prayers, and then breakfast in silence. Uh, then silence. we have, yes, then we have wash dishes together. That's a religious activity at home, three times. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, we have classes or work, uh, masses at noon, then we have uh, lunch, and then work again, and oh. then meditation in the afternoon, vespers at 6 community uh, meal together, uh, usually with reading in the evening, and then, let's see, what else? Then we That's have community nice. recreation, <laughs> wash dishes again, and our closing prayer at 8.30, and we have silence from 8.30 at night until 8.30 in the morning. That I couldn't do. That, that I would have. <laughs> well, it's a very interesting, and I'm glad to know that. And we wish you all well. We're going to read the first question now. This applies to everybody, so, uh, because everybody might or might not have a chance. Here's a question. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> after, after what you just told me, my first question el elicits a chuckle on my part. But anyway, here's the first question. What do you do for a fun evening at home? <laughs> so much for that. All right. He, he continues first. Okay. Question, and everybody listen, because it pertains to everybody. If Snow White can do it, it says here, so can you. Name the seven dwarfs as featured in the Disney film. Tom, uh, answer or challenge, sir? I'll answer Bill. No, don't answer Bill, because oh, that would be... <laughs> if you answered Bill, that would be wrong, you see. But I know what you meant. You meant I'll answer, comma, Bill. Oh, uh, comma, Bill. Right. Okay, comma, comma, Tom, what is your answer? <clears throat> I would say, dopey. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> He says dopey, referring to nobody in particular. Mike. Who is the funniest comedian in the United States? Now, we asked this question in a nationwide survey with the help of the Davis Research Corporation. We need only seven of the top ten answers. The other names, are you ready? I have my list. George Carlin, Bill Cosby, Rodney Dangerfield, Jerry Lewis, Don Rickles, Red Skelton, and Mark Humboldt. <laughs> Kid I used to know in school, I just thought I'd <laughs> He tried a lot, never did. We... Of all men and women on television, who is the personality you most trust? This question was asked in a nationwide survey by the Davis Research Corporation. We have the ten most frequently given answers. We need seven. Whom do you think Americans trust most? That's TV personalities. 
Uh, Tom, we begin with you. You going to answer a challenge? I think I'll answer, Bill. All right, I'm going to be. I'm going to be anxious. First of all, to see if my name comes up. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> what it did pop to my mind. Well, Bill. thank you, thank you, Tom. Goes. Let me give you the rest of these answers because that was a tough question. Yeah. So many of your answers sounded good. Alan Alda. Alan. Oh, yeah. Johnny Carson. Oh. Uh, don't laugh at the answers. <laughs> Phil Donahue. Oh yeah, he's a good idea. Ronald Reagan. Tom Selleck, he was number two. Oh. Barbara Walters, isn't this a nice? And me. Oh. Come on now. Oh, by the way, we're ready now to give our farmer a chance at picking up $5,000, but I have been asked to mention this. In those uh, most trusted personalities seen on television, there was one name that was incorrect. Uh, your guess as to whether it was Tom Selleck or me. <laughs> it, it, the, the name that should not have been in there was my own, but you know, I gotta, you can't give a guy a B for trying. If you've ever asked or been asked, what's your sign? You should be able to name the 12 astrological signs of the zodiac. We only need seven. Oh, Nancy, you have it. Are you going to answer or challenge your opponents? I'll answer. Going to keep the hot potato on your side. Yeah. Give me Gemini. a sign. Gemini is another right one. <laughs> Gemini is the sign of the twins, and my wife, Anne, is a Gemini. I just thought I'd drop in a little commercial to make things more fun at home. And it is your turn, Sharon. Oh, your I, turn. We I only will. need two more right answers. Answer or challenge? I will definitely answer. You're, I'm going to say Aquarius. Aquarius is right. <laughs> you know, one of the nicest people, one of the nicest people I know is an Aquarius. Mm -hmm. No, You? No, I'm not. Oh, I, I'm an Aquarius. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you mean you don't boo a sign of the zodiac? Oh, they were awing you. Uh, oh, they were awing yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Not boo oh, they didn't. They, they didn't boo. They awed. No. Oh. Academy Award-winning actress Elizabeth Taylor has an even half dozen former husbands, plus one current official fiance. <laughs> uh, not many of us can say that. We want we want the names of those seven tailor-made fellows. All right. Well, before... I'm going to challenge Vince. You are. Vince, you've been challenged. My <laughs> my is pretty good, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, Vince, you have to answer to stay in the game. You have to mention one of Liz's husband's or official fiancé. You can do it, Vince. Uh, you can do it, Vince. <laughs> do it, Vince. I'll say Burt Reynolds. I Burt know. Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, bro? can't do it. Go, Sorry, Vince. go back to the bench, Vince. I always, Vince, I always explain that personally I am very bad at playing this game, but I'm better than that, Vince. That's, Vince is out of the game when we return to the Miss Americas. Vanessa, captain of the team, what's your choice? Answer a challenge. I think I'll challenge Ken. Oh, yeah. Oh, they okay. seem to think, they seem to think they have a walk-up. Ken, uh, it's up to you, Ken. I don't want to answer. <laughs> You've got to give uh, us some. The singer. Um... A little more specific, Ken. Well, I'm getting close. In. I'm, yeah, you're I'm close. Enough. I'm on a roll. You are, Ken. <laughs> we, start, we start with the singer first, and you run over. Uh, Anything you say, Ken, is all right with me. Oh, suck. What's the jump's name? Mm. Don't, we don't have a time on this, do we? No, not much. No, I mean. Hey, a couple hours. You got right now. You got about five seconds, Ken, to get up on one knee. <laughs> The senator, where, where was he? The congressman? Something? Well, it's our guy, kid. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Ken. With the help of Davis Research, we asked people across the country, other than apple, forget apple, because we all know about that, what is your favorite pie? We have the top seven responses, other than apple. This was a poll across the country. People's favorite pie. Rick, answer a challenge. Answer. Okay, here comes Rick. Cherry. Cherry is right, Rick, and there's a right answer on the board. Ken, old boy, Cherry is the number one, the number one answer, by the way. Ken, old man, what do you want to do? Ah, <laughs> uh, Peach. Peach is right. Two right answers on the board. Okay, Vince, you had, had a little thinking time. If Ken and Rick haven't taken your answer, what do you want to do, answer or challenge? I'll answer. Here comes Vince. I'll try mud pie. Ha ha ha!
Vince. Vince. Vince, would you go back there, please, Vince? Uh, see you later. I'd like to be on the opposing line the next time he calls an audible. Uh, Liz, it's up to you. Only have one opponent left. Short fellow over here by the name of Norton. Ken, I hate to do this to you. I don't, challenge you. Don't do it. Well, I don't think that much. Can you? The Davis Research people asked people across the nation to name the sexiest series currently on television. Again, let me read the rest of the answers which come up on my little magic board. The ones not mentioned, Cheers, believe it or not. Cheers, yeah. Matt Houston, uh-huh. Remington Steel, and Three's Company. Those, in addition to the answers you gave, the sexiest shows on television. Isn't that interesting? None of my shows were included there. <laughs> Interesting and it's rather discouraging. We'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, we're going to pause while we get our second job. There are eight cars currently made in America which are named after animals. I'm talking about the entire animal kingdom, I assume. Named after animals. Can you name seven? You? Mike, your team has now regained control. Let me recap. There are three right answers on the board. We need four more right answers. You have two opponents. You can win either of two ways, by giving the seventh answer or knocking out the other team. What do you want to do, I'm Mike? sorry, Bill. Could you please read the question? There was a key word in there. Uh, there are eight cars currently, I think that's the key word, currently made in America, which are named after animals. We have Mustang, Cougar, and Lynx. I think currently oh. is the key word you were thinking Made in America about. is key, too. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Made in America. Oh. And currently. That's... And cars, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Animals, too, but they want to carry it right down to the... However, be that as it may, Mike, well, I, I do digress, and I didn't mean to take your time. <laughs> <That's so. okay. laughs> I, I want you to know you can either answer, you can challenge, or you can hit me in the nose. Can I go to the bathroom? You, you may go to the bathroom, yes. Uh, <laughs> come back, kitties. Mother's Day is coming up. Hey, that's, uh, that's uh, good for the nurses. Mother's Day is coming up, and maybe you should check your mother's preferences on this question, everybody. It's a list of the nine most popular centers, or fillings, you know, for chocolates. Now, this is according to C's Candy. Okay, Pam. Boyfriend bring you candy once in a while, Pam? Uh, nuts. Uh, you, you mean uh, he is? Or... Uh, wait, wait, wait just a moment. I want to I get this straight. Was that an answer to my question or an answer to the game? I mean, an answer. We had the Davis Research ask people, what motion picture made you cry most? We're seeking seven of the most mentioned movies from the list of eight current and classic tearjerkers. Current and classic motion pictures made you cry the most. Chris, we begin with you. You know, you can answer, or you can toss the hot potato over there. Well, I don't get much chance to go to movies, but I'll say flash dance. Flash dance. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> After, after that answer, Chris, they won't let you in the movie if you go. That's all right, though. They don't, don't, let, don't listen to me. Nobody ever does control. Passes over to our accountants. What do you want to do, Pam? I know you don't want to say flash dance. <laughs> what did people across the nation say when asked this question? The schools do not teach our children enough about what? We have the seven answers most often given. Um... I'm going to say um, sex education. Sex education. Correct. That's the number one answer. That is the number one answer. In my school, uh, when I went to school, we not only did not have sex education, we did not have <laughs> education. <laughs> Got out of that by the skin of my teeth. Mike, I'm just thinking now of all my friends and good friends, because we all are, we've known each other for years, who are game show hosts are saying, gee whiz, nobody mentioned my name. So uh, those of you who have been forgotten, I will mention the names of the other game show hosts. Bert Convy. Right. Oh. How can you forget? Bert is by, by, by all means the best looking of the game show hosts. And then there's Jim Perry. Jim is, he does, he, uh, Bert does Tattletales, Jim does Sale of the Century. He's good looking too. Oh, okay. Then there's Peter Tamarkin, Press Your Luck. He's good looking too. And there's Bob Eubanks, Dreamhouse. He's good looking. By golly, I can only think of one of all the network game show hosts who is not good looking. Ponder that. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> We're gonna go. 
All right. Which athletic activity consumes more calories per hour? Is it basketball or softball? Talk it over. You may pass if you want. You're allowed one pass a game. Talk it over. Speak up. That's all right. Okay. We're going we're to answer. You're going to go for this yes. one. Yes. Right, you're going say... for $1,000 or nothing. I know. We're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to say basketball. You are? Yeah. Oh, dear. Basketball, 450 calories per hour. Softball, 245. <laughs> Sharon, you look like I irked you, you there. Did. I know. I, that, that's part of that's part of an MC stalking trade. You see, try to try to yes, try to play the contestant along. Which household task is more disliked? Is it cleaning carpets or cleaning the bathroom? You have no more passes, so you have to answer this. Take your time and talk it over. Yeah, don't you think it's cleaning the bathroom? Because you got to scrub the toilet and the mildew in the shower. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to go? This is true. Okay. Do you want to go for? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have to answer. So we're going to say cleaning the bathroom. Why did you say that? Cause, well, because it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got to use a brush if the brush slips in the toilet or uh, something. <laughs> and you got to send for someone to go get the brush. Well, what if nobody's home? You know. Got to go get the brush yourself. Yeah, that's why it's. That's why it's. As far the as you're concerned, it is the most disliked. Yeah. <laughs> Is as far as everyone else is concerned, too. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so every once in a while, Sharon, I, I, find, I find someone I can have a lot of fun with, and you're it. In addition to that, Mike and Allison and Pam, you have a pass which you have not used, so you have one pass that you may use. Oh, good. Okay. Boy, oh, boy, I like your chances. But people say to me, what do you know? <laughs> to which I have no reply. <laughs> For $10,000 or nothing, which James Bond movie starred Sean Connery? Would you say Octopussy or Never Say Never Again? $10,000 or nothing. Oh, what confidence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're going oh, sorry. to. Um, You're going to play? We're going to play. $10,000 or nothing. Oh, I hope you come up with the right answer. Thank you. Please I, give me the right answer. Never Say Never Again. Oh, that's right. Yeah! You got that. Oh boy! Oh man! Oh my! Did I scare you? Did I? I didn't. You know, I figure when you have ten thousand dollars coming to you, it's okay for me to tease you just a little That's okay. bit. Right now, I want you to know you are the proud possessors of thirty-four thousand dollars. Congratulations! <laughs> nice going, gang. Thank you. You have done. You have done a tremendous job, especially you, Allison, pull, pulling that last game out at the very last yeah, moment. Yeah, we have you. opponents for you, and wow! <laughs> he, he, he said, expostion, wow! <laughs> Let's meet our opponents right now. Hi, I'm Connie Eastwood. I'm Joe Pond. I'm Dion Perre, and we're... Circus Performers! <laughs> Who is older? What do you say? Jackie Gleason or Gene Autry? Take take a conference I mean, there. Tell me then whether you want to play or pass. I don't think there's very many people Gene older than Gene Autry. Yeah. <laughs> Mel, Mel is a nostalgia about the comedian. Uh, Mel, you're going to play? Yes. And you're going to say? Gene Autry. You're right. Gleason, 68. You uh, going on? Go on. Go on. Okay. Uh, from what you said, I don't think you're ever going to work for Gene Autry, Mel. But you have the right answer, and you are, and you are going on. Gene Autry owns a lot of things, you know. Yeah, he sure does. Baseball doesn't he? teams, picture companies, people. Uh, <laughs> you decided you were going on. Yes, we did. I, I digress. I do yeah, that from okay. time to time, time to time. You're now going for fifteen hundred dollars or nothing. Let's hope this is easier, huh? Okay. All right. Who's older? Burt Reynolds or Mick Jagger? I'm Burt Reynolds. Is it? Burt Reynolds. Reynolds. You're the captain. I'd say Burt Reynolds. Okay, Burt Reynolds is 48. Mick Jagger is 40. You're oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 2000. Wait a minute. You, you, 
can stop if you want. Oh, you, don't want to you can stop or you can risk your 15... Oh, it's only 1,500, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Dissension in their ranks. Uh, what are you going to do? Mel, that's, you're the captain. Let's go on. All right, Mel oh. says go on, and that's it. It's not $2,000 or nothing, and we're breaking up a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Who's older of these two? Bruce Springsteen or Anne Margaret? Have your conference. You've used your pass. Oh, you owe your conference. We're Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret. Springsteen is 34. Anne Margaret, 42. You have yeah. 2000 Are you going? It gets, it gets exciting at this point because you've used your pass. You're going on the, you're committed. The die is cast. You're now going for, this is your last one, $5,000 or nothing. What'd you say? Uh, huh. Okay. <laughs> He said, he's scared. You scared, Cindy? Nervous. Okay, you play better that way. Mel, you're the captain. For 5,000 bucks or nothing, who's older? Cheryl Teague or Mr. T? Talk it over. Oh, so nice. Nice. We're not going to write you I think so. I'm not voted, so I, they say Cheryl Teague's. Cheryl T Is that what they said? They said that. They outvoted you? They sure did. A good thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pull my leg and I'll let you hang. Ooh. <laughs> Cheryl Teague. Oh no, no, I was making an announcement. Because oh. oh. I had to, you know, it's part of being MC game show. You know? Build suspense. Yeah, oh yeah, watch this. Watch how I do this. Because if Cheryl Teague's is right, you win 5,000 bucks. Uh -huh. And if you're wrong, they didn't even tell it again. No, they're saying to me, that's hurry up. Oh. Cheryl Teague's is 36. Mr. T, in spite of the way he looks, is 31 and you got the five. You know what it takes to be a good MC? The ability to do this. Bye. <laughs>